father of a new baby girl. Kathy just gave birth to a baby girl named Amy. He had a kid with her. Of course he had a kid with her. Of course he had a kid with Kathy. Hi everybody, it's Kayla and welcome back to The Sims 3 Generations. My friends, I couldn't get over this image. Like, look at, look, look at this. Oh, like father, like son. Look at him go. I'm gonna miss Blake when he dies. I'm gonna miss him so much. Oh my god. Okay, well, today... I intend to force my sims to hopefully get engaged or- well, they aren't even dating at the moment, actually. Oh no. Oh god. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, I think you need to come here and I think that you need to beg this man to forgive you and take you back because you have been a very bad, bad, bad person and I think that you need to make him fall back in love with you. Stop eating your cake, this is more important. <laughs> I mean, I think that they're always going to love each other, but she also is a terrible person, so we need to make sure that he's, you know, um, I, we just gotta ask him to go study again. I, I'm so stressed. What does he want to do? Visit the Arboretum? Never been there. And buy a bunk bed for his kids. We can do that. Who's calling who? Stop. Just let her smooch you, Blake. Oh, sure you can talk to that person. I don't care. Marina thinks Blake is okay. Oh, oh, PDA. Ew. Disgusting. You disgust me. Okay, well, we're being flirty. As soon as we get them in a, a little bit of a better mood, we can ask him to go steady. Sims are starting to catch on that something is up between Marina and Blake. They might want to tone it down a bit before someone gets hurt. Okay. <laughs> At me next time about someone getting hurt. No one's gonna get hurt this time. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna do anything bad. No one's gonna get cheated on. I promise. Okay? I swear to you. I will not cheat. I will not cheat. Wait, maybe Alfred should set boink, Boinky on the ground? No, I'm not putting anyone's- I hope that all their- okay, I'm pretty sure that all of their stupid- what's it called? Um, imaginary friends got- Got, got rid of, got, I can't talk. I hope they're all gone. I'm pretty sure I sent them away with Astrid when I sent her away, so. <laughs> got rid of all those problems at once. They can't ask to go steady. We're both single. Let me go steady with you. Oh, I think I should be able to now. Propose going steady, thank God. Okay, please, please take me back, Blake. <laughs> please. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're back, folks. We're back, we're back in action. Blake just entered into an exclusive relationship with Marina Sauce. The moment where Marina became his girlfriend is one he'll always remember for the second time. Okay, Blake, I love you and all, but I'm gonna run. Okay, I'm not gonna do anything bad. Is he her boss? That worked out. He was just a co-worker, I think. Wow, don't dip kiss this man. He's old and frail. He will die. Marina, he will die. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna invite out. I just gotta end this Willy thing right now. I'm cutting it off. Every person I've ever tried to woo, I will end my relationship with. It's gonna happen, I promise. He's meeting me there, I'll, I'll dump him right now. Don't even worry about it, okay? I'm ending it, it's over. He's, oh, I just came right next door to my house. Oh God. <laughs> I hope he comes to visit. Actually, you know what I should do? I'm gonna make my kids come play. Like, you can play on the playground. You can watch your mom dump her, her boyfriend. <laughs> Okay, don't do anything stupid. Okay, um, friendly, um, can, no, don't confess. Maybe, maybe I should confess. Actually, I'll announce my birthday first. Like, hello, it's my birthday. Give me attention. And then I want to ask to just be friends. Oh, look, my sims are hanging out at the playground. <laughs> okay, yes, I dumped you. Yes, it's over, Willie. Go away. He thinks I'm being unforgivably rude. Okay, are you serious? You're married, and so was I. I I got with you literally on my wedding night. Go away. Goodbye. You seriously need to take a class on having fun. I'm thinking a four-year degree at a minimum. Okay, that was rude. You're rude. Shut up. I had a bad time out, and I lost a friend, so I'm all upset. You know what? You were never friends with that guy. I'm deleting this mootlet. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay, I think I might have her go. Honestly, uh, I think I'm gonna make her sign kid up for after school class. I want to make sure that maybe like Alfred's in scouting and stuff. Like I want them all to have something going on. What are, are you still just? Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm gonna clean up my house a tiny bit. And then I think maybe I'll make Blake, because he hasn't bonded with his children in a long time. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna make Blake bond a little bit with his kids, especially the ones that he was not really um, in the lives of. Like, he and Penny always had a great relationship. Obviously, he hasn't really seen her much in a long time, but I'm gonna come feed these kids on the floor. And we'll make Blake make up for some lost time here, which is kind of sad and kind of sucks. But it's, it just, it be like that, you know? We kicked him out. It's not his fault. He was just not really allowed to be around the kids that much. He wants to have five friends. Do you not have five friends? Mm, his good, his only good friend is his daughter. <laughs> That's so sad. Actually, he's kind of friends with this Blake guy. Blake Connor. Oh, he and other Blake are both kind of good friends. That makes sense. That's cool. You know, just, just the Blakes kind of chilling out here. 
<laughs> okay, I think that you need to, you want to do something with the baby. You can like snuggle it or something, but I'll make my Sims actually take care of their kids this time. I'm going to do so good this time. Okay, I'm going to care for my children. <laughs> He walks so slow with this cane. Oh my god. I kind of miss having canes though in The Sims. Like that's a fun part of the game, isn't it? Why is he taking so long? Take care of her. Okay, that worked. Never mind. Sorry, false alarm guys. He wants to snuggle Barbie. Are you gonna take her downstairs? Why would you? Oh my god. Oh my god. And Gertrude, you just, you and Snuggles are the bane of my existence. <laughs> Okay, I want her to go discover potions again because the more she does this, the more she can try and make Snuggles real. And I want Snuggles to be real. It's really important to me. Okay, what are you doing? Can you put the- actually, put Tom in the swing. That's good for Tom. He'll be in the swing. You can turn it on slow. So Tom will just swing a little bit, you know? Oh, that's really sweet, buddy. Is he- what, you're putting Drake in the playpen? Oh my god. Please don't, actually. Please don't put Drake in the playpen. Maybe you could tickle him and snuggle him. Oh. Oh, I made stink juice potion. Nice. Good work, Gertie. You already stink, so you don't really need it, but you might as well have that, too. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, keep making potions. Keep discovering potions. Okay, it's getting to be the evening here, right? Obviously, Blake is a little bit hungry. Maybe, can you put Drake down? I think I am going to have Blake ask marinara sauce out on a date. He's a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna send them out to a restaurant, I believe. I'm gonna make them go out for dinner tonight. I think that'd be really cute. I think it'll it'll work really well for them. <laughs> I do think that'll be good, though. I think that that's what they need. It's just a, a nice romantic evening out. And then tomorrow, we will spend the day with our children because he has not in a long time. Am I on a date yet? Come on, come on, come on. Give me a date, give me a date. Nice, okay, look, and we'll go to the diner, you know, we'll eat here with our date. Any good bars or clubs? Okay, we're not going to a bar or a club, we're going to a diner. Subtle, sweet, simple, it'll be really cute for us. Nothing too crazy, okay? We just got back together after many years apart. <laughs> I'm guessing those toddlers are probably like four or five, like in, because they're going to age up soon. So just picture him being like four or five, okay? I think that makes sense. So he's been, he's, they've been divorced for a while. They got back together. It's, <laughs> he, he left, I think, when they were pregnant. He didn't leave. He got kicked out when they were, when she was pregnant with them, um, because she was cheating on him. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> okay, Penny, you're playing on this slide, which you don't necessarily need to do, but you, you could do some painting, maybe. Maybe sell that, and then can you paint a little bit? That'd be really cute. She also wants to hang out with Octavio and go on a date with him. But dates are for sinners, so we, we can't do that. <laughs> Here, make me a large painting. Go for it, buddy. She's doing so well, and my toddlers are all, you know, playing. I don't know what this one's doing. Oh, he's playing with blocks, see? That's cute. I still have so much junk in my inventory. Oh, wait, did the, oh, the toys got given to, ugh, ugh. All those toys I thought I got rid of got just put in here. <gasps> Hooking up is easy. Staying that way is the tough part. Octavio Painter Kessler and Chana, Chana, Shanna, Funk seem willing to try though and have decided to go steady. So what you're saying is Octavio Painter Kessler has been cheating on Penny? Are you serious? <laughs> like mother, like son. Oh my god, that family is just a load of garbage people. I, mm. And the thing is, you you just know, you know that Penny is gonna keep pursuing that relationship. Also, can I just point out, this person, this woman, is her best friend. This Chana person is her best friend. Literally her best friend since childhood. They've been dear friends forever. And then she went and stole her boyfriend. Oh my god. <sighs> She doesn't even know yet. I feel so bad. Oh, Penny, you, her best friend and her boyfriend. Oh, high school sucks. Wow, that's unbelievable. I'm, I'm really upset. I'm really, 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 what are you doing dumpster diving? Stop, oh my God. You know what, actually, I respect this. I, I <laughs> you learned well, kid. <laughs> this is what we needed. What does he have? He's got so much junk. Maybe the plague of the, the guitar. Oh, he needs to work on his skills so much. Oh, he's so behind. Ooh, do I have a chess table at home? I probably should get a chess table actually, considering the fact I found a smoky quartz, cool. But yeah, we need a chess table for my Sims anyway, both of their jobs, so I might as well get one? I don't know where to put it. Um, hmm. I guess I just dump all my things in the backyard, huh? So <laughs> maybe I'll do that. <laughs> oh, she's still, she's still dumpster diving. Here, you can just come home, forget her, she's being dumb. I'll buy a chess table for us though. I still want to keep my, my snow cone machine. I need so much more than I have space for. Oh, I can put it in here. I don't need this. 
Okay, I'll, I'll keep that to match the color of it, but we'll get a chess table and put in here. King, oh, that's a different kind of table. We'll get like the king of the park chess, no, just get like a normal chess table. And I want like a seemingly kind of night, like this chair, we get kind of matches the vibe of this one. <laughs> so we can copy it, I guess. See, that's nice. That's real, real nice. I'll copy the wood color, you know, we'll get it over there so it matches all nice and pretty. Cool, and now we can play chess for, oh wait, hold on, I forgot to get rid of this. We can play chess and get our skill up. Wait, oh my god, you know what he could do? Stop this. Here, come home immediately. You're gonna play chess with Penny. I feel like, you know what, maybe, you know how we know that her stupid boyfriend is cheating on her? Blake saw him out with Chana. <laughs> so, he, and he obviously knew. And so he now is aware that the snake boy is cheating on Penny. But the thing is, I think Penny, even knowing that, She's gonna try really, cause she's dumb and she's young. She's gonna try really hard to make him come back to her. And obviously it's never gonna work out. It's gonna end out. Th this is what happened with Astrid. It's the exact same thing. Where like she is gonna spend her whole, not her whole life, but like a large portion of her life just really desperately wanting it to work out with him and trying to make him like her again and thinking it's her fault he cheated and, and blaming herself. Like it's just, it's gonna be a whole disastrous, exactly what happened to marinara sauce, you know? And I can't wait. <laughs> I know that's really, really, really bad, but like, it'd be like that sometimes, okay? Look, they're gonna play chess together. This is father-daughter bonding at its finest. It's adorable. Oh, Barbie learned all she can from the xylophone. Nice! You did so well. Here, I know you can walk, so can you come upstairs and use- Can you not come upstairs? Can you not walk? Do you know how to walk? Here, Marinara, you must know- You do know how to walk. Oh, well, feed her on the floor then. Ah, you know what? You- you peed. You're fine. <laughs> oh my god, what happened to you? Gertie, oh wow. Okay, no, no, just take a shower. Gertie, what did you do? Why does this keep happening to her? <laughs> She's really, really bad at this, isn't she? <laughs> oh, this kid's crying. Oh, it's nauseous. Well, stop, stop swinging it then. Here, can you snuggle the baby and play with it? Maybe give it a bottle and then, and then put it in the crib? That'll be good for you. I have too many kids to like even function, to be honest. <laughs> I also only have cake leftovers. Like it just, this is a disaster. And his skill is not getting up high enough. He hasn't given any lectures. <sighs> How are we gonna get married this weekend if we can't even exist? Maybe we'll just have like a, but I wanna have a wedding tomorrow. But I wanna have a nice proposal. You know what? Maybe they can wait on the wedding. Maybe they'll just get engaged and then have like a prolonged engagement and get married next weekend. Will he even last that long? He probably will, I think. I'm just trying to think like realistically, I bet he doesn't wanna get married to her just yet either. <laughs> Like, he, he needs to be a smart person and make good decisions for a second, which we don't often do. Uh, actually, can you serve dinner? We don't have much food here. Also, you have so many, like, I bought so many recipe books to read and I don't have high enough skill to read, like, any of them. So I, I need her to serve dessert, I guess. Serve breakfast, maybe? Actually, serve breakfast. Cook up some organic fruit parfaits. And I'm just gonna send all my kids to bed because it's getting late. They're tired, you know, we, we need to work on this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh my god, it's it's already 1.39 a.m. How did I do that? Here, can you put Barbie in that crib? And then maybe you could help out too. Help your dad maybe? Oh, you're eating. Oh, you're fine. Here, can you put Drake in that crib? That's good, everyone's doing really well. <laughs> I think. You're playing. You're gonna get picked up. Okay, that's fine. Everything's everything's going super fine. You can just go to bed. Come on, guys. What? How do I keep my sims up so late all the time? I'm s And she also wants to be a magician still. I'm not gonna be a magician. Of all the things, she's asked me like three times to be a magician. I just, it's not gonna happen. The kids are all crying. Why? Why? Wait, they're being taken care of. It seems, it seems to be going well. Here, you know what? You're old and frail. Here, just come use the bathroom and then go to sleep. It looks like potentially you are taking this one. I don't know where she's putting that baby. Okay, in the crib. You put Drake in the crib. Drake, stop what you're doing. This is riveting content, I'm fully aware. <laughs> you can go to sleep. Come on, guys. What are you doing? Can you not get to bed? Why? Go to sleep. You're fine. There's a toddler there again. Oh my god, that happens every time. The toddler's- okay, I'm not kidding when I say this. The toddler's getting stuck at the top of the staircase is potentially the most frustrating thing that has ever happened to me and it, it just keeps happening and I think it's because these stairs are glitched but like it is so beyond unbearable I just don't understand why this keeps happening Ugh. okay no go to sleep you're fine sleep okay okay you too my chicks have all grown up and flown the coop that's nice oh they're all in bed they're all in bed it's fine we have peace and quiet for a second again <laughs> it's not gonna last long but <gasps> oh my god Blake is now the father of a new baby girl. Kathy just gave birth to a baby girl named Amy. He had a kid with her. 
Of course he had a kid with her. Of course he had a kid with Kathy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh wow. He left her when she was pregnant too. Oh. I didn't know. I didn't. Oh my god. He cheated on her and left her while she was pregnant. That's some kind of marinara sauce type stuff. I, Blake, oh. Here I was convincing myself that it was all about me. Go to sleep, can I? I just cheated his knees down so he would sleep. Okay, it worked. Anyway, I was here, here I was convincing myself it was all about me. And okay, Kathy, how are you? What, you live out on the farm? You're some farm girl kind of freak? Oh no. I abandoned poor dear Kathy in this farmhouse in the middle of nowhere with an infant and now my, my kids all have a sister. Oh, oh my God. This is, you just left it out. Okay, Kathy, 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 you can't just leave. Oh my God, did you see how she had that little like thing above her head that said the baby was crying so she was like angry about the baby crying? She just got mad the kid was crying. Look, she's still mad about it. She's thinking about it crying still. She got mad about the baby crying, left Amy outside and just dipped. I can't, I can't reasonably let this baby be raised by this woman. But I, like, I have Tom, and my teens are all in rebellious moods. Oh god. Wait, why does Snuggles hate you right now? What did you do to Snuggles? Be- Oh my god. Everything is going wrong today. Also, I understand Penny feeling a bit rebellious at the moment because, um, like I said, her boyfriend and her best friend just got together behind her back. Um, and I imagine she's just a tiny bit upset about it. The fall festival's in town though. Do you know what that means? You know what? Can I visit Meadow Glen Park with my boyfriend and best friend? Oh, I can't, it seems. Well, can I invite you out? Invite out, come on. I wanna bring you to Meadow Glen Park. He better say yeah, we're going to the festival today, right? We love the festival. What does she wanna do? Stop being friends with Alfred? Leave your brother alone. You guys share a room. You can skip school though, that kinda sounds like fun. <laughs> Leave your brother alone though. He didn't do anything wrong. Your brother's your only friend. Like her and her brother are good friends. She had a best friend too, but Chana decided to go and ruin our lives, clearly. What's this? We got mail? Hmm. Penny's really cute too. Chana's ugly, look at her. She looks like a grandma. How could, how could you cheat? on my beautiful sim with a grandma. It's sort of like how, um, I don't know if this is true or not, but I saw some Twitter trends about Prince William cheating on Kate Middleton. You're really gonna cheat on Kate Middleton? This right here, Kate Middleton, okay? This, you cheated on Kate Middleton, you little creep man. <sighs> Let's see if he wants to fall in love with me still. I'm just gonna come try and dip kiss him. You know what, bold moves. Bold moves, we gotta do what we gotta do, okay? Here, you know what you should do? I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring Blake and make him come play chess at the park. I think that sounds fitting. <laughs> I'm gonna dip kiss him, come on. There's a horse. That's what you look like, a horse. Stupid yeehaw freak. I hate this guy. You know who's a yeehaw freak? Kathy. <laughs> I can't, the thing is, I can't reasonably be mad at Kathy because, like, Blake, we cheated on him and left him for someone else. He was single. He had every right to go and get with Kathy. He had every right to have kids with Kathy. Like, Kathy didn't do anything wrong. Kathy's just a normal person, nice-ish seeming girl. However, Kathy did, in fact, leave her baby outside, which means I don't trust her and I think she sucks. But, like, as far as bad mothers go, like, marinara sauce has no room to talk. Uh, so, like, I can't even be mad about this stuff. Like, I really can't even be mad, but I just am mad. I'm so angry about this. Oh, it's a date now. Hmm, do you think I can make him dump her? I don't wanna try and make him dump my best friend. Ask about career. Should I ask if he's single? <laughs> I wonder how she'd react to that. Can I not ask if he's single? Wait, why not? Maybe, wait, should I send her dad to come beat him up? <laughs> I kind of want to send her dad to come beat him up. I know you shouldn't make your parents solve your problems for you, but like, she's young. She's probably like 15 or 16, you know? Like, I think it's okay to make, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna send her dad to come beat her. I want to beat him up though. I can't beat him up, but I could come yell at him. You know what, Blake, we did say Blake is the one that saw Chana and and yeehaw freak out. Oh, wait. Oh my god. Would you look at that? It's Astrid and her new kitten. Well, can I come beat her up too? I mean, I guess- No, wait. Come greet her rudely at least. They did used to date. Wait, Blake's not innocent in this either. Blake did have a thing with her. Wait, you have to go? You have work soon? No, you're leaving? Wait, I wanted to yell at you. Wait, wait, wait. Come back. Come back. Oh, I'll get you, buddy. I'm sorry, I got distracted by Astrid. Of course, Astrid ruined- There's like three of the same cat. Who are all of you? Maya Jackson, Baxter Sauce, Nova Jackson, and Har- ha There's four of the same cat. Why are there so many? They're multiplying and they're- 
Oh my god, I want cats. But they're multiplying. Astrid is bored talking to me. Okay, well, you're ugly and mean and you have an ugly heart, okay? Insult her. And you know what? Also, accuse her of being a diva and then I'll get back to playing my chess. You know what? I'll play chess with my dear daughter, Penny. <laughs> because I have good relationships with my kids. You know who doesn't have a good relationship with her kids? Astrid. Astrid doesn't even know her kids. Astrid doesn't care about family. Astrid is a bad person. I hate her. <laughs> I'm getting so aggressive with this. I, I clearly care very deeply about this situation. I am just, listen, I'm doing bad, okay? I'm really upset. I'm really mad about how mean my children are. <laughs> okay, here, actually, Gertie, can you uh, keep discovering potions? Because you really need to discover potions because this way you can make your, your imaginary friend a human and then marry it. But I don't know if we're gonna actually make that happen because we haven't been trying very hard and it's, it's going pretty badly, but that's okay. <laughs> I like how they play chess together. That's kind of cute, I think. The fact that they like come and play chess together this often. It makes my heart hurt because like, he, they don't really have, they're like he and her are the closest at all of him and his kids, I think. Cause granted she was the oldest when he was around. Um, Like he wasn't really here for the births of Barbie and, and Drake. He knew Alfred, but I think Alfred was a toddler when they were around mostly. So like he doesn't really know his kids that well. I mean, he sees them, like he used to visit them and stuff, but like he didn't live with them. Whereas I think that he and Penny are the closest at all of them. Them, which is cute. It's a good thing. It's a really good thing. I got invited to a party? So did Tom. Whose party? A formal dance is happening soon. Marley Williams? Oh, I don't really want to go. <laughs> I almost married this guy, by the way. I don't think I'll go. He invited my entire family. That was kind of cute. Here, can you come here? I think I'm gonna have... I'm gonna make marinara sauce propose to him this time. I made a mood enhancer potion. Oh, and you wanna take a greeting card pick? We can do that. And go bobbing for apples. You know what, you can, he's still playing with his daughter, so you can come, come bob for apples right now on your own. Where's the apple bobbing, buddy? Hello, apple bobbing, let's do it. You know what, actually, they're all here right now. Can I make them enter the eating contest together? Take Marina and take Penny. Let's have an eating contest. That sounds like fun. Oh, she looks real angry. This is gonna be really cute, I think. I'm excited about this. You know what, family fun down here. This is really good. This is their oldest daughter. You know, this is their first and only daughter together. I said only. <laughs> They've got... <laughs> They've got two daughters and three sons. You you have plenty of kids together. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I don't know who I want to win either. I think I'm kind of rooting for Blake just because I feel bad for him. But actually, I don't know. I'm kind of rooting for Penny. You know what? You know, I feel I really feel bad for Penny. <laughs> Penny's having a miserable time. <laughs> Penny's had a really bad day. <laughs> okay. Who are you? Jay Painter Kessler. Oh, that's Astrid's ex-husband. We could probably bond with this guy, to be honest. I know he doesn't like me very much, but Alfonso. Oh, Alfonso is one of her other kids. <laughs> Here, Alfred, maybe you could befriend this guy. Maybe they could date. You know what? If Octavio's not gonna work out, maybe we could get with this guy. I just got so beyond distracted. My dad called. I don't even know what I was talking about. I know that I want to befriend this Alfonso kid, so I'm gonna make sure that happens. Also, I don't know who's who's winning. Are you still going? Are you gonna win the eating contest? What happened to Marina? She's out. She's upset. She lost. She's a loser. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> I really hope that Penny does well. She deserves it. Hey, Penny Sauce is the pie master. Ha! Sucks for you guys. Okay, are you gonna talk to this kid? This is really important. This could be your future husband, okay? Do you understand, Alfred? This is the most important moment of your entire life. I, I mean, luckily, <laughs> Astrid has a bunch of kids, so like, you never know, we can get with all of them if we wanted to. But yeah, this Octavio thing's just not gonna work out, I don't think. Did I introduce myself yet? Hello? Talk to me. I'll scream. Oh wait, he likes me. Nice to meet you, buddy. I heard our moms used to be married, and they both suck. Wanna talk about it? <laughs> Maybe they can play tag. That's how Chana and Penny got to be friends, and then she went and backstabbed us. <sighs> Sorry, it's still a sore subject. Okay, I think on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and end this part right here. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. It's like I'm set out to make my Sims suffer. I don't know why I do this to them. It's just, it's fun, okay? It's drama, it's exciting. It's, um, well, maybe not exciting for them, but it's, it's fun for me. <laughs>